I'm Christian Karasevich, and on this DIY design tutorial from Easel, I'm going to teach you how to create live video overlays for BeLive.tv. Now, before we begin, you're going to need a few items. You're going to need a BeLive account as well as an Easel account. Now, if you don't have either of these, we've included links to them in the description of this video. Now, in addition, be sure you click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. This way, you get notified every time we publish a new DIY design tutorial on our channel. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log into your Easel account. Now within the Easel workspace, you're going to want to click on Create Design, and then go down to the search box and type in Live Show Overlay. Now this is going to bring up a number of pre-designed live show overlay themes that you can use for the various live streaming platforms such as BeLive.tv, Ecamm, StreamYard, and many others. Now for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to work with the live show overlay theme, Orange Blue Corporate. So here I am within my Easel workspace. Now before I begin, I want to go through the various overlays and remove any that I don't need to be working on. For example, if I'm working on BeLive.TV overlays, I'll use the intro overlay. However, I will not use the countdown timer because this primarily works for Ecamm Live. So we can delete that. Next, we're gonna have the left lower third. You'll wanna make sure you have a lower third for any time that you are on camera and you want your viewers to know who you are, where you work, your title, as well as what your session or your topic is going to be about. This also looks extremely professional. Now, the third type of overlay is the segment or session title. Now, in this case, I'm gonna delete this one because I'm gonna show you a shortcut to go about making these off of an existing overlay that you've already made. Now, in addition, to those overlays. If you're someone who has a guest or a co-host on your overlay, you also want to have additional overlays for those particular individuals and you can make those right here within Easel. Now in our case, we only need the left and lower third because it's just gonna be me on camera. So I'm gonna delete the right lower third and I'm also going to delete the two person overlay, which is ideal for bringing in a co-host or a guest we're gonna hit the delete button there, and that's gonna leave us with the thank you overlay. Now, the thank you overlay is where it gives us the opportunity to tell our viewers how they can connect with us. So we're gonna make four overlays, the intro, the left lower third, the segment or session title, and the thank you overlay. Let's get started. So if we wanna go about customizing the intro overlay, all we need to do is simply double click on the text that we wanna change, in this case, we're going to add our live show. Now, for our show, we happen to broadcast on Facebook Live. Now, if you're not broadcasting on Facebook Live and you want to change this to YouTube or LinkedIn, what you simply need to do is click on the graphic, in this case, the Facebook Live, hit the delete button, and then go over to the graphics tab on the right side, search for your respective social media channel, and bring it into that overlay and resize it. Next, we're going to make an adjustment to the date and the time of our show. Okay, so now we want to change the name of the individual for the show. In this case, I'm obviously not Gary, and I wanna replace the image. Now to do this, all I simply need to do is click on the images tab on the right side. That's going to bring out the images drawer. And as you can see, I've got some images already uploaded. Now, if I were to take this first image, it has the solid white background and drag it into the other image that is here on the left, it would replace it. However, it would still have the solid white background, which would cover up part of my live show overlay graphic. Instead, what I want to do is I want to upload my image and I want to remove the background. Now, fortunately, within Easel, we have a tool that will automatically remove 
the background from your image so that it looks like this. You would simply upload the image, run the remove background feature and voila. Okay, so now we need to make just a couple of adjustments here. So in this case, I need to scale this image up to remove some of this excess space above my head. Now I can do this a few different ways. One of these is by single clicking on the image and by dragging the bounding box. And then I can reposition it. Now alternatively, you can also double click on my image. That will bring up the crop tool. I can adjust the image and I can also then adjust the size as well. So I can resize that in both places. Okay. So one obvious issue here is that the text is hidden because it's a white shirt with white text. So if we want to change the text color, in this case, let's change my name and my title. I can single click on my name and I can hold the shift key and select my title, go to the color picker, and we're gonna change this to blue. Okay, so the last thing I wanna do for this particular image is I wanna change the background. In this case, I'm going to change it from this orange to blue as well. Okay, so there is my live show intro graphic. Now remember, if you want to make any changes to some of the various elements, for example, maybe the dot color here, you can select that object, go to the color picker and make your adjustment. Alternatively, you can find these in the layers palette. If it's, for example, image one of three, you would go to page one, locate the object that you wanna change the color on and then make your change. Okay, so we've got the first graphic ready. Let's move to the second one. This is the left lower third. This one's a pretty straightforward adjustment. We want to change, obviously, my name. We're going to put my title, and this is going to be about 10 minute meal prep. Okay, so now one issue here is that the name and the title are overlapping one another. So if I want to fix this, all I need to do is single click on in this case, the 10 minute meal prep, we're going to drag from left to right and reduce some of the excess space and then simply center the 10 minute meal prep or sorry, align it with my name. There we go. Okay. So the left lower third finished. Now, remember I said I was going to show you how you can easily create the session or segment title for your live show. An easy way to do this is to take the intro overlay and click on the copy button. And it's gonna make a duplicate copy of this. And now all we need to do is change the various elements for this particular overlay. Now, we don't need the Facebook Live graphic. We're gonna change this, how to save time in the kitchen text. We're gonna call this quick tips. And we're going to remove the date and the time. Remember, if this is a session or a segment graphic, you wanna make sure that you actually remove that because it doesn't make sense to have the date and the time of your live show in the middle of your live show. Instead, you might replace it with text such as this. Okay, so in just a few seconds there, we were able to create a segment or session title for our live show. Okay, so now this gets us to the last live show overlay that we can then bring into BeLive.TV and this is the thank you overlay. Now, we're just gonna make a few edits here. We're gonna change the background from orange to blue. And then we're gonna make sure that we add our social media channels. In this case, we're gonna tell our users to connect with us on these channels. Now keep in mind, by the way, you don't wanna put the full URL in your live show overlay. Most people know when you say at a name, they know that that is the username that they need to look up. If you put the URL in here, it would be a lot of text. They might be too small at that point 
and they're also not clickable. So there is our thank you overlay. Now remember, if you do need to change maybe YouTube for Instagram, because this is a graphic, you're going to want to select the object and hit the delete key, go over to graphics, locate an Instagram icon, drag it in and resize it. Okay, so now one last thing I wanna mention about the thank you overlay. If you are someone who struggles at the end of your Be Live broadcast with trying to locate the end broadcast button, what you can use the thank you overlay for is to not only just tell your viewers how and where they can connect with you, but at the end of your broadcast, you can thank your viewers for watching and bring up that thank you overlay in BeLive.tv and then easily locate the end broadcast button. This way, you're not just looking around on camera to try to find the end of your broadcast. So there you have it. We have created four live show overlay graphics for use in BeLive.tv. We have the intro, we have the segment or session title, and we have the lower third, in this case is the left lower third, and the thank you overlay. Remember, when you're finished with these, the last step is to download them and then bring them into BeLive.tv. So when you're finished and you've proofed all of your overlays, to download them, simply click on the download button. Now, if you happen to have an overlay that has this checkerboard pattern, you'll want to make sure you select the PNG option. If you select JPG or JPEG, it will fill in the checkerboard with a solid color and the transparency will not work. So in this case, we want the PNG option and then make sure you select all of the appropriate images that you need to download for BeLive.tv from within your easel workspace. Now, remember, if you want to download all of the images, you can simply select all pages, or if you only want maybe the first two, you can simply just click on the ones that you need, hit done, and select download. So now that we have downloaded our live show overlay graphics for BeLive.tv, let's take you over to BeLive and show you how you bring your easel graphics into BeLive. So now that we have created our live video overlays within Easel, we're going to move over to BeLive.tv and show you how to bring in those gorgeous live overlays into your live stream. So here I am within the BeLive.tv dashboard and all I simply need to do is take the files that I downloaded from Easel, save them to my desktop, extract or unzip the file with all of the different overlays and then click on branding within BeLive.tv. Now I've already gone and uploaded the various overlays, but this is how you go about applying them. So as you can see, I have you know quite a number here. Can't really see these, they obviously are a little bit small. So if I want to preview it, I simply single click on it. We can see what it looks like and we can click apply. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna add it to your stream. However, you have to remember as well, in your stream, in order for it to show up, you do have to add a camera source. In this case, I'm gonna click show in stream. And there you go. There is our intro that we created in Easel for BeLive.tv. Okay, great, these look beautiful. So now let's see how the other ones look. So let's check out that lower third. We're gonna simply go back to branding. We're gonna to go to overlays. And then we're going to click on the lower third that we created. And once we hit apply, I'm gonna come on screen and you should see the lower third as well. So let's give it a second, there we go, perfect, look at that. So that's the lower third and as you can see, remember we had a transparent background and this is what's gonna to show to your audience. They're gonna see me on camera and they're gonna see the lower third. Now let's go and remove that one and we're going to show you just the other ones as well. So for example, that segment, if you have a segment that you bring up during your show, again, 
single click on it, hit apply, and it's going to come up over top of your live stream. And then the last one obviously is the thank you that we created that told people how they go about connecting with us with social media channels to find us on our website and whatnot. So again, go to branding, go to overlay, click on the overlay that you want to bring in and click apply. And there you have it. So as you can see, it's extremely easy within BeLive.TV to really increase the production value thanks to Easel. So remember, if you want to go back at this point and you're done with your broadcast, obviously with the thank you, you can end your broadcast. But if you do want to go back to, for example, being on camera, you just click on none and we're going to click apply and there you go. As you can see, it's extremely easy to create high quality, professional live video overlay graphics for BeLive.TV utilizing Easel. In this tutorial, we showed you how to create an intro graphic, a lower third, which will overlay over top of your live video. In addition, we taught you how to build in a segment or a title slide. And lastly, how to create a thank you or hold slide to help you create a fantastic end of show. Remember, if you have any questions or you've created your own live video overlays, please share them with us in the comments or on our social media channels. And lastly, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and be sure you click the notification bell so that you get notified every time we publish a new DIY design tutorial. Thanks a lot.